Hello Cancer and welcome to Soul Sundays. Cancer, three, uh, quick three card spread, blah, 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 um, for your week ahead. One for mind, body and soul. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for Cancer. Please show me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. Spirit, can I please have three cards, one for mind, body and soul, please, for their week ahead? What's the best advice we can give to Cancer for their week ahead? Mind, body and soul, please, starting with the mind. Cancer, I didn't take those other ones that came out because they weren't the right ones. There it is. Because I hadn't asked the question. Um, that's really kind of cool. So you have the card of the divine order, equilibrium, coupled with the three of trees. So dedication. So this is the three of coin. It speaks about um, collaboration, teamwork, three people coming together. Usually it speaks about business. Um, but this card, the divine order with equilibrium, it's uh, the card that represents Libra or the scales. Um, or justice, right? That's literally how we kind of look at this card. Um, it's about something kind of balancing its way out. It's interesting though, I get kind of this melancholy from her as I'm looking at her, quite a sadness. So I'm wondering what's going on for you mentally this week. Um, it's like you're trying to find balance within your thoughts, within the people that are around you, maybe family members, maybe friends, um, maybe love interests yeah <laughs> diet is important here have you had a bit of a weekend of binge eating and takeaway or have you had a day of that i can feel it in my tummy um okay let's have a look at your soul message soul message for cancers for the week ahead oh, who else had this i think uh, maybe it was aries so maybe an aries is important for you ready but waiting it speaks about ready for a transformation but you're in kind of limbo okay so um, I really want to focus on this area for you in terms of trying to find balance in whatever it is that you're working on, okay? Um, it's a really interesting combination because this is major arcana and this is minor arcana. So major arcana are things that are predestined, right? That we have no control over. It's like a soul contract with ourselves, what we kind of set before we incarnated on this earth, whatever you believe in, right? It's like that kind of it's destiny type thing. Um, whilst I believe that we have free will and choice and a lot of things in life there are some things that are predestined and this is one of them this week for you um, justice in traditional tarot speaks about balance having good intentions um, it can often speak about lawyers and needing to get advice but when it comes to mental state it's really about finding um, balance amongst chaos okay it's about um, trying to see the calm when everything feels like it's in a state of flux and I'll read it for you it says it's not the nature of the universe to judge what is wrong or right the universe seeks harmony and constantly shifts into balance so that she can fulfill her potential the divine order shifts your footing so you must look at every aspect of your life from a fresh perspective in order to restore your balance step back and weigh up all sides keep shifting your viewpoint until you feel centered and only then make a decision you can heal a situation by balancing the negatives with the positives. An imbalance can be reconciled through a loving response. You are being asked not to take something personally, but to step outside of a situation to see the bigger picture. All things come from love. The scales are finding a way to return to balance, to return to love. So what is it for you personally in terms of your mindset that's kind of like, that's troubling you this week? For a lot of you, I feel it's in either friendship or it's with family um, because of the card that came out with it, the three of trees, the three of pentacles. So um, typically I'd see this as a card of um, collaboration, teamwork, working together. Maybe it's to do with work. Maybe it's your colleagues that you're not seeing eye to eye, or maybe it's your family members, um, siblings, brothers and sisters, or maybe it's your parents. But I feel like something's out of balance in terms of your innermost circle, right? And colleagues may not be in your innermost circle as a friendship sense, but they are people you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So they become like family essence, right? It's a, you love them, but you, you can't live with them type feel. So this speaks about, in traditional tarot, um, about collaboration, as I said. And in this book, it really, it's called The Card of Dedication. Concentrate on bringing excellence to everything you do. Be proud of all that you do, from a lucrative deal to washing the dishes. <laughs> the Three of Trees compels you to refine your skills. 
You are good at many things, but branching out to too many areas will diminish your accomplishments and successes. Are you trying to do too much, Cancer? Are you trying to be all things to all people? If you keep going down this path, nothing will ever feel good enough or satisfy you. Know your worth, hone your skills and play to your strengths. Think of yourself as an artist. Your life is a masterpiece in progress and every endeavour is a brushstroke building on the last to create something special. Concentrate your efforts, master the details and know your dreams are possible. So this is pretty cool. This is um, when you kind of align with this, this card, with the finding balance, finding equilibrium, whatever you do, this is telling you to kind of um, put yourself first, right, of course, but also to not um, like spread yourself too thin, not kind of look at too many projects, too many things. Like even I feel like the advice here is I don't know what it is that you do and create in the world it's a general reading for everyone but whatever it is that you do I feel like there's so many different facets of it and it's telling you to just focus on one this week and that's where you'll find balance and harmony okay and if it is a relationship a friendship or something that's been out of sorts I feel like this could very well be the week where you have that re recollection um, recollection resurrection in your friendship in your relationship in whatever it may be for your personal situation <laughs> diet is important here what have you been eating it's funny because i'm in a little bit of a focused nutritional plan at the moment so um i i'm i'd be surprised if i get this card it's been coming up for me for a little while but um this is all speaking about what you're eating obviously um and talks about reframing so that you're consuming nutritionist foods um what's really interesting is this ties into the balance aspect right and mindset um, so it talks to you about seeing f nutritionist foods, not as oh, I'm eating green beans, why am I not having my KFC chips? But it speaks about um, when you know that you're feeding your body, then you're going to actually feel good, right? It's that kind of one step further from I know I need to eat. I know I need to consume energy to have more energy, but it's, it takes you that one step further, right? And says, instead of looking at a balanced diet as removing something enjoyable, why not reframe it so that, your view, so that you view nutritionist foods as adding to your life's enjoyment? It feels good to eat healthfully, knowing that you're supporting your body's energy through sound choices. You've drawn this card today to validate what you've already been thinking and know intuitively. It's time to make positive dietary changes. You can do this gradually if you prefer, as even small concessions in the direction towards improved food choices can make a difference. By saying the power below, um, by saying the power prayer below, it will help you to reduce or eliminate unhealthy cravings. Now, look, I don't know what your individual uh, religious beliefs are, but there's like an affirmational prayer at the bottom that says, "Thank you for guiding me to make positive eating and drinking choices, and for reducing or eliminating my cravings for unhealthful substances." So, for some of you, it could be maybe alcohol. You've drunk too much on the weekend. Maybe you have an alcohol addiction. Um, but the key words are listen to your intuition about dietary changes. Weight management is healthful for you. So maybe some of you are overweight, maybe some of you are underweight. Your body is very sensitive to the food you eat and the beverages you drink. Changing your eating habits will change your life. Pretty straightforward, right? I don't think you need me to kind of break that down for you anymore. Sorry, I'll just move the camera so you can see. This is pretty cool. This kind of talks about like a spiritual awakening coming for you. Um, it's called Ready But Waiting. Let me just, um, obviously you can read that, but um, it speaks about not rushing, okay? And the key words are, there is no rush. Bide your time and be ready to act. Observe and build your stores of knowledge, energy, and resources. Resist being goaded to act before you're ready. You have missed, not missed your chance. Prepare and be poised for an opportunity. Confidence is not being certain of success. It's being prepared to give something your best shot. I'm going to read that last line to you again because I feel like it's important. Confidence is not being certain of success. It's being prepared to give something your best shot. Isn't that interesting? Because certain of success is kind of an egocentric way of looking at things. Whereas confidence in that element is like um, a surety of going, you know, I'm going to be as prepared as I can to f make something, to fulfill something. And with the three of coins here or the three of pentacles, this very much could be a mindset game for you about work this week and balancing your health. So juggling between the two. Um, and Cancer, I've talked a lot about this year for being a year focused on nurturing you. Um, and this is the, the message coming back again in your weekly uh, soul reading. It's all about putting yourself first, focusing on what you're consuming and what you're drinking so that you're the most balanced person you can be so that you can then perform at work and achieve your goals. 
great week ahead. I hope you found this reading helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.